Virtual reality technologies have helped a nursing school in Singapore develop their students' clinical skills while reducing the use of disposable procedure sets by about 50%. And these virtual simulation tools used by the Alice Lee Centre for Nursing Studies supplement traditional in-person learning. It equips their 1,500 students with expertise in areas such as management of care and procedural skills. Introduced gradually during the COVID-19 pandemic, the school now plans to integrate generative AI into its virtual simulations next year. Well, for more, I'm joined by Dr. Rosalind Sia, Senior Lecturer and Programme Director for Undergraduate Clinical Education at the Alice Lee Centre for Nursing Studies at the NUS Yong Lu Lin School of Medicine. Welcome, Dr. Sia. Thank you for having me. This so, all sounds very interesting, but I'm wondering how far can virtual simulations go in recreating clinical settings as well as actual patients uh, in order to give your students the training that they really need? Right. To begin creating all this technology, mm. we are very mindful of the strengths and limitations of what it can not reach and also provide for us. Mm -hmm. And we don't understand that virtual reality in short in general, help us to create an immersive simulated environment to allow students to practice their skills. So by understanding the skills and the learning objectives that our students require mm. to become competent in the clinical setting, we would carefully invest a user-friendly technology designed on, in, into our curriculum and to meaningfully create a new learning experience for our students. Yeah. Well, what are some of the, you mentioned their limitations to technology yeah. as mm. well as advantages to it. What mm. were some of the benefits and challenges um, of incorporating tech into your teaching and learning about patient care? Right. The use of virtual reality technology indeed mm. would provide a substantial amount of benefits and with the most appealing to one being the ability to create limitless opportunities for students to practice the skills without using additional consumables or even having the challenge of finding um, resources such as clinical space in the school to practice. So mm. that is definitely one of the greatest benefits that mm -hmm. we can have. Right, as for challenges, I would say it would be more on the different digital literacy skills mm. that our students might have. Mm. So we were mindful the limitation of our students when it comes to the use of technologies so that we do not compromise their learning experience. Yeah. I believe for that you got some feedback from them, didn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Feedback is definitely the crux of us enhancing our whole technology. Yes. To be honest, the first time when we create virtual reality, mm. we had many roadblocks. Mm. Mm. We have concerns from students trying to tell us that you know, they, have, they actually got physical discomfort yeah. from using virtual reality yeah. when having to manipulate all the additional um, mm. skills using the handsets. And these are all very... Um, good feedbacks that we brought it back mm. and we actually work using innovation and creativity solutions to overcome these yeah. feedbacks. And to be honest, today's technology is perhaps the fourth or fifth versions mm. of what we yeah. have first initiated. Yeah. And the feedback has been promising. The students are now enjoying the experience and we are indeed very proud that we have even expanded the use of such VR, mm. not to just one skills, but to many skills yeah. and even to the work, to the use of experiential using the operating theatre for students. Well, I appreciate you sharing that journey yeah. with us. Um, so you said you're expanding you know, uh, the availability of this technology, uh, your students for one, but what about to those already in the workforce? Is there room for such technologies and um, are the nurses already adequately trained to use them? Absolutely. We do not see any boundary no. to extend the use of technology mm -hmm. to our nurses working in the workforce. Absolutely. In fact, we are even uh, always working on collaborations as well as uh, sharing insights through workshops and conferences with our stakeholders and industries. What we are trying to achieve here is not really to bring across the technology because technology don't overshadow the whole learning experience. Mm. Instead, it should be one that helps us to create new knowledge for our, stu our nurses in the workplace. In fact, we also understood the diverse age 
and learning needs of the nurses in the workforce at this point in time. So we are also mindful how we can meaningfully and integrate the use of technology into their workforce without creating uh, distress or stress right, mm. in, their, in their learning experience. Right, I understand. Yeah. Um, we've also heard that there are plans to incorporate uh, generative AI yes. into the simulations. Uh, how are you planning to do that? Honestly, virtual reality is not the only new kid in the block. Mm. Gen AI is the next in thing. Mm. And we all know that students are now using it. So instead of allowing our students to use it at their own area, I think it is important for us to incorporate it into mm. our technology. Mm. Why we are, try we are trying to create is a learning experience again, as I what we always want to emphasize. We wouldn't want students to just go into ChatGDP and to receive information without the idea of understanding what is reliable. And henceforth, we are creating Gen AI into our platform yeah. to incorporate nursing process framework and using the uh, teaching pedagogy like blended learning, meta-connective learning, as well as adaptive learning to help our students elicit critical thinking skills so that this Gen AI can help our students to provide yeah. better information. Right, and, and, and better care Absolutely. At, at the end of the day. I, I'm wondering whether you've had time to actually get feedback from your patients itself that will actually inspire you to, to go uh, into other technology. Is there any other technology that NUS is perhaps exploring? Right. Now, at this point in time, uh, we have not really gone into the phase of mm. experimenting with our patients, mm. but I do not see the reason why we are not going to do mm. so in the future. But for now, we really need to ground ourselves down and to ensure this whole technology is matured mm. and that it can really create a positive outcomes, not just for students, but to the patient care and that we can slowly expand it to yeah. our patient care. You know, it's been so great having you here, Dr. Sia. Thank you for My pleasure, joining us today. Yeah. I've been speaking there with uh, Dr. Rosalind Sia from the Alice Lee Centre for Nursing Studies at NUS Yong Lu Lin School of Medicine.